Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be listing the top 10 best Chinese historical dramas of 2020. Though 2020 is coming to an end, a lot of things happened this year like the pandemic, but it was nice to have some good dramas keeping us entertained while at home. The list is based on ratings on a Chinese review site, Doban. Doban is a Chinese version of IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. What makes Doban different is that it also covers books and music ratings. I'm going to include dramas with at least 40,000 ratings. Consider subscribing and clicking on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. With that being said, let's get started with the video. Number 10. Qing Dynasty Epic Qing Dynasty Epic is a 78 episode drama starring Edward Zhang and Duan Yi Hong. The drama is the fourth and final installment of the highly regarded Qing Dynasty series. The drama tells the story of how Yin Zhang unified the warring states and became the first emperor of China. The production value of this drama is high in terms of costumes, viewpoints and cinematography. If for someone who is into kingdom politics and power struggles, check out this drama. The battle footage of this drama gives me the Game of Thrones vibes. The drama has a 5.9 rating on Doban with about 106,000 ratings. Number 9. Legend of Fei Legend of Fei is a 59 episode drama starring Jia Yiling and Wang Yibo. The drama was one of the highly anticipated drama this year and it tells the story of Zhou Fei, a martial arts nurturer from a permanent family who runs away from home and travels across the land to cultivate her skills as she learns from different masters. She meets Xie Yun, the son of the crown prince of the southern dynasty who saves her from drowning and together they fight evil forces in the pugilistic world. Legend of Fei also has a 5.9 rating on Doban. I've put Legend of Fei ahead of Qing Dynasty Epic even though they have the same number of ratings because Legend of Fei has more ratings. Legend of Fei has about 155,000 ratings whereas Qing Dynasty has about 106,000 ratings. If you're a subscriber of my channel, then you know how much I love Wuxia dramas. Though there's a 10 year old age gap between the female lead and the male lead, I can still feel the chemistry between them. If for someone looking for a good Wuxia drama with romance on the site, check out Legend of Fei. Number 8. Handsome Siblings Handsome Siblings is a 44 episode drama starring Chan Jai Yuen and Hu Yi Tian. The drama tells the story of twin brothers who were separated at birth but grew up to become supreme martial artists. They were raised to take revenge on each other but find themselves becoming good friends. Together, they vote to take the martial arts world by storm and search for their true identities. The relationship between the two main leads was one of the selling points for this drama. I also like how Chan Jai Yuen portrays Shai Yuar. He was cute, funny, natural and I don't think they could have cast a better person other than Chan Jia Yuen. If you're here for romance, you'll probably be disappointed. The drama isn't focused much on relationship. If you hate love triangles like I do, don't worry because it ain't the main point of this drama. It creates the right amount of conflict that leads to growth. The fight scenes were so cool and I love how they were choreographed. This is a good drama to add to your watch list if you love Wuxia dramas like me. The drama has a 6 rating on Doban with about 41,100 ratings. Number 7. The Wolf The Wolf is a 49 episode drama starring Darren Wang, Li Qing and Xiao Zhan. The drama was filmed way back in 2017 and tells the story of a boy who was raised by wolves and his journey to become the first emperor of the Tang dynasty. Before you watch this drama, make sure to grab your tissues. The love story between Darren Wang and Li Qing is heartbreaking and the second male Xiao Zhan also did an amazing job portraying his character, and the rest of the cast as well. The wolf has the elements of wuxia, romance with some kingdom politics, and a bit of fantasy. This drama has a 6.2 rating on Doban with about 250,100 ratings. Number 6. Dance of the Phoenix Dance of the Phoenix is a 30 episode drama starring Yang Chai Yue and Chu Kai Chang. The drama tells the story of Fong Wu, a girl who lives in a fantasy world where magic and martial arts rule the world. The chemistry between the main leads is perfect. The romance aspect of this drama follows at a reasonable pace. The CGI of this drama is pretty good compared to other dramas though I think the storytelling of this drama seemed to fall apart towards the end. It seems like there were so many thoughts but none were conveyed. Overall, the drama is still a good one to check out if you're someone who is into fantasy and magic. The drama has a 6.3 rating on Doban with about 42,500 ratings. Number 5. Serenade of Peaceful Joy Serenade of Peaceful Joy is a 69 episode drama starring Wang Kai and Maggie Jiang. 
the drama tells the story of Chao Jen as he strives to maintain a balance of power between the conservative and progressive functions after the Qingli reforms experiences a significant backlash from the former. The acting between the two main leads is good and I was amazed by the acting of all the children actors in this drama. This drama is for people who are more into Chinese history and real life historical experiences. The drama has a 6.4 rating on Doban with about 145,300 ratings. Number 4. Internal Love of Dream Internal Love of Dream is a 56 episode drama starring Del Roba and Van Gogh Gao. The drama tells the story of Fong Zhou who was caught in a precarious situation and is saved by the Emperor of Heaven Dong Hua. Grateful to the Heavenly Emperor and feeling she owes him a great debt, Fang Zhou accompanies Dong Hua on his quest to fight the rebelling demon lord and her great debt soon turns into love. The drama starts at a slow pace so that's something to keep in mind if you plan to check it out. The drama has a high production value and the visuals are fantastic. The story of Fang Zhou and Dong Hua is different from that of 10 miles of Beach Blossom. Eternal Love of Dream is faithful to the novel and it follows it closely. The drama has got an amazing storyline with good chemistry between the main leads. The drama has a 6.8 rating on Doban with about 281,200 ratings. Number 3. Love and Redemption Love and Redemption is a 59 episode drama starring Chang Yi and Crystal Yuen. If I'm only to recommend one drama of this list, it will be Love and Redemption because it's that good. The drama tells the story of Chu Chuan Ji, the second daughter of the Shao Yang sect leader who was born to the world lacking in the six senses which makes her rather clueless and inept. She befriends Yusuf Fang, the outstanding a disciple of Lisa Palace who falls for her despite the harsh consequences that he must face as it's forbidden for students of Lisa Palace to fall in love. Thus beginning a Shensha romance that is entangled with conspiracies from the past. The setting of this drama is similar to Ashes of Love, so if you enjoyed Ashes of Love or looking for good Shensha romance drama with many heart-wrenching scenes, check it out. The drama will make you laugh and cry at the same time. Some people find the misunderstandings frustrating, but I think it wasn't that annoying. The production value of this drama is high, and the visuals and cinematography are top-notch. The costumes are also beautifully made, and the chemistry between the main leads is above the charts. The drama focuses on life lessons of friendship, loyalty, and love. Yusufan will do anything for Xu Xuanji's happiness, even if it means sacrificing his own life and happiness. Every episode of this drama is well paced, and it's not filled with many fillers, which is almost in every single Chinese drama nowadays. The drama has a 7.4 rating on Doban with about 226,200 ratings. Number 2. The Romance of Tiger and Rose The Romance of Tiger and Rose is a 24 episode drama starring Jalusa and Ryan Ding. The drama tells the story of a modern woman who enters her script after falling asleep. The drama is a low budget production that unexpectedly became a hit when it premiered this year. The drama has great chemistry between the two main leads, Jalusa and Ryan Ding. The acting and storyline are on point, and the comedy is enjoyable to watch. Jalusa has dominated rom-com dramas lately. The drama is fast-paced without druggy and unnecessary misunderstanding between the leads. The misunderstandings in the drama quickly gets resolved and serves as a great way to push the story of the drama forward. If you're into light-hearted rom-com dramas, check out the romance of Tiger and Rose. The drama has a 7.5 rating on Doban with about 245,200 ratings. And number 1. Love in Between Love in Between is a 43 episode drama starring Gala Jiang and Jiang Ya Ching. The drama is intelligently written and viewers will get hooked from the very beginning. The drama has an amazing storyline with dark and intriguing wish plots with a lot of close up scenes but the fight scenes is well made. The drama is different from other wish dramas and the plot is well driven. The drama has the right amount of sadness as well as sweetness. The visuals were pretty good and the martial arts was well executed. The drama has an 8.2 rating on Doban with about 53,200 ratings. Let me give a quick honorable mention to some dramas that should have made the list but didn't because it had less than 40,000 ratings. Asian Detective, The Sleepless Princess, I Have Fallen For You, Love A Lifetime, Made In Homes, and The Song Of Glory. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think there's a drama that should have made the list. Let me also know what your favorite historical dramas of 2020 is in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, Make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. That's all I have for you guys today. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.